Hey, what's going on, Bully fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeder's Hacks. So this episode is going to be a quick one. It's going to be about weighing your puppies. So what makes weighing your puppy so important is that's the first sign, that's your first line of defense and making sure that your puppies are going to be, you know, nice and healthy. Um, puppies, especially newborn puppies, are not like full, you know, grown adult dogs. Um, if the full grown adult dogs, you know, they'll uh, get skinny and have other issues before you know something's really kind of going on and something's wrong. With a newborn puppy, um, it's very hard to tell. And by the time they get skinny um, and, and, and you know that they're sick, it's usually already too late. So what we do is we make sure that you're feeding them, you know, every two hours, things like that. But you also want to make sure that they're going up in weight. Because, for example, um, you may think that the puppies are eating off of the mother and it turns out she's not producing enough milk. You'll be able to catch things like that, you know, and know that there's a problem if you're weighing them consistently. Some people say to weigh them once a day. For me, personally, I feel better knowing um, I'm watching them every step of the way. So we make sure that we, we weigh them before they eat, after they eat, um, every er, after every feeding. So we're weighing them a bunch of times throughout the day. We weigh our puppies every feeding, you know, before, at, before and after we're weighing them to make sure they're going up in weight. That's like, you know, the most important thing. That's your first way to know that there's something wrong. Because if you try to go just based off your visual, looking at the puppies, oh, the puppy looks healthy. That that's usually um, not going to be the most accurate way. So going based off of weighing will tell you that the, the puppy is consistently going up in weight, which you know means that the puppy um, is, is, is healthy and, and growing. So uh, what we use that we found is a lot more um, inexpensive than spending, you know, the hundreds of, hundreds of dollars that the vets spend, you know, on their scales and things like that. Uh, this neonatal puppy scale, um, we we use this and we make sure what we do is that we weigh them before and after every feeding so that we see that they're continuously going up in weight. If you see that a puppy isn't going in up in weight within the next couple of feedings, then you know that something's wrong and you need to get on top of that and address it real fast before um, it can spiral into a bigger problem. So weighing puppies is definitely like the most important sign and, and the most clear sign to know if there's something wrong or not. So what we use, this is what we use for our neonatal um, puppy scale. So. What we found instead of spending, you know, the expensive $300 scales that you see at the vets and things like that, this works perfectly well. You want something that will be able to weigh in grams. That's what this does. It does grams, I believe, ounces and pounds. Um, this is actually meant for, uh, it, it's a feeding bowl. It's actually meant to be able to weigh the food. But um, this, we've actually found that this works perfect for puppies. You can actually take this bowl out here. And now you can actually go ahead and wash it, which is awesome and essential and key because especially with the puppies, you know, peeing and pooing all over the place, um, your scales can get really dirty. So we found that this works amazing, you know, and it's way less than the price of like those $300 scales that you'll see at the vet or something like that. So like I said, you know, this bowl comes out, you can go ahead and clean it, um, you know, put it right back in. You can turn on the scale. As you can see, you can actually change it to grams ounces, pounds and ounces, milliliters. Um, there's so many different settings that you can use, but we just use grams when it comes to weighing newborn pups for the first uh, couple of weeks or whatever. So um, like I said, pretty much, you know, you'll go ahead and what we do now is a little bit different. You know, some people recommend that, you know, you weigh them every day. We like to weigh them before and after every feeding to make sure that they're actually getting uh, fed each feeding. Because for example, you could have them on their mother and uh, thinking that the mother is producing milk, thinking that the mother is, feed, you know, they're getting fed. Um, they stop eating uh, off the mother, they go to sleep. You weigh them, they didn't go up in weight. You know, that tells you that they just got tired because they weren't getting any milk. So for us, that's super important and key, making sure that we weigh the before and after, because if they went up in weight, then we know that they got enough milk, they were fed, they're tired, and they went to sleep. If they didn't go up in weight, or maybe they went down in weight, we know that they, you know, they tried to get milk off of the mother, the mother wasn't producing, they got tired, fell asleep, which is bad. You do not want that because they're basically uh, burning more calories than they're gaining. 
which over time will cause them to fade on you, pass away, and that's how you lose puppies. So like I said, weighing puppies is essential and key. This is probably one of the most important things that we do um, that will help you prevent, prevent you from losing puppies. So like I said, we sell this on our site, um, the neonatal puppy uh, scale. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Breeders Hacks.